Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 February Patch Tuesday updates rolling out for Windows 11 22H2 and Windows 11 23H2. And for this month, the update is KB5034765. Now, because this is an automatic compulsory update, um, just to double check our latest version and build by heading over to Winver. And when this update has been installed and applied and you've restarted your device, if you are running Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build is sitting on version 22631.3155. And if you are still on 22H2, the only difference is that it will be 22621 and the point release 3155 is exactly the same. So... This update actually includes a new feature. Well, it's not a completely new feature, but it's bringing a change to an existing feature, which is the Copilot Windows icon. For some, it should now start appearing on the right side of the system tray here in the bottom right-hand corner of the taskbar. Now, this, just to take note, um, is... On a controlled rollout so microsoft says that windows 11 devices will get this new functionality at different times now as you can see my copilot button is still slap bang in the center of my taskbar and hasn't rolled out in my region as yet and um microsoft did did say from the release notes that some of these new features roll out gradually using controlled feature rollout to consumers so if your copilot button is not to the right hand side yet then i'm sure over the next update or two that it will um, relocate to the system tray, which I actually think is a nice move. Um, I've always said I would like the Copilot button to move from the taskbar into the system tray. And uh, just to take note though, that um, this show desktop, little toggle here to the bottom right of the system tray and taskbar, um, it's here in the rightmost corner of the taskbar, will now be off by default. So you can use this to show your desktop as many of you may know, this will be off by default. Um, if you do have your co-pilot button moved from the center to the right. And uh, if you want to change that setting to uh, turn the feature back on, you just right-click on your taskbar, head over to taskbar settings, taskbar behaviors. And yeah, you can see, select the, the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop. So you can always toggle that back on if your button has moved. Uh, the Copilot button has moved to the right to get access to that show desktop feature once again. So that's the one new feature that's rolled out um, with this update, uh, specific to KB5034765. And over and above that, it also addresses, like all the Patch Tuesday updates do, it addresses security issues for the Windows OS. And for Windows 11, this month we have 41 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And we get two critical vulnerabilities that have also been patched. And that's your highest ranked um, kind of level of vulnerability critical. So the, those are, these are two important vulnerabilities that have been, that have been patched. The first is um, Windows Pragmatic General Multicast Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. That was also patched over on Windows 10. And for Windows 11, we also get Windows Hyper-V Denial of Service Vulnerability. So, so those are two important security issues that have been fixed. And KB5034765 will take care of those according to Microsoft. Now with the security side of things out of the way, uh, the update also includes improvements that were part of this update that rolled out near the end of January. So this was January's optional bug fix update, KB5034204. And uh, just to go through some of the improvements and fixes that did roll out with that update because I did post a whole video on the update and I'll leave that down below but just a quick recap uh, it addresses an issue that affects certain types of seven zip files it addresses an issue that stops search from working it reduces the risk of a stop error which is a blue screen of death it addresses two known issues addresses an issue that causes your device to stop responding fixes an issue that makes the troubleshooting process fail and also fixes an issue that affects the file explorer gallery and fixes Bluetooth issues. And it had plenty more bug fixes. So go check that video out, as mentioned, uh, that I did post on KB5034204. If you'd like to um, just play catch up and get more info in case you didn't install that update when it rolled out near the end of January last month. 
Now, over and above that, um, the security update also includes some of its own fixes that Microsoft has deemed important enough to roll out with this update instead of waiting for a bug fix update. And just to go through these quickly, um, it addresses an issue that affects Narrator, which is a accessibility feature. Uh, that the issue is affecting narrator announcements. Apparently, they are slow when you use natural voices. So if you are using that as an accessibility feature, then Microsoft has patched that problem. And the update addresses an issue that affects explorer.exe. And explorer.exe is the shell of your operating system, which will be your notifications, taskbar, start menu, file explorer, and so on. Um, apparently, this occurred when you restart or shut down a PC that has a control controller accessory attached to it and this also rolled out for windows 10 and the third fix that is rolled out also rolled out for windows 10 the update addresses an issue that affects the download of device metadata so a bit of jumping around with this update this month and that's what's new for kb5034765 which is the patch tuesday update for windows 11 22h2 and windows 11 23h2 for february 2024 so thanks for, for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one